In this video, we'll be showing the setup and operation of the reactive agility test using a Power-3X system equipped with the reactive lights. Power-3X system is going to have four gates. You have the start gate, reactive left, reactive right, and the finish gate. This is the typical configuration of it. However, there's a lot of different ways that you can set this up for testing and training. I'm going to set the start gates at the beginning here and put the reflector across from it. Usually space these at about four to five feet. And you don't need to space them any further than that. We're doing this indoors right now, so it's a much more condensed version of this. But if you're doing this outside, this would be spread out over 10 yards with the reactive agility gates being at the five yard mark. So I'm gonna put gate number one, and these are all labeled right here. This is gate one. I'm gonna put this at the, um, at the midpoint there. I'm going to take reactive agility gate, the left one, which is labeled number two, and put that over on the left side. And then the finish gate is going to go at the very end right here. And I'm lighting up the reflectors, um, again, at about four foot, and you really don't need to have them a whole lot further than that out in the field here. If you're doing the static reaction where you're going to have the athletes start to run when they see the light, you'll use the hand start here that will turn on the light when you press the button. That's gonna get plugged into the start gate here. Then um, you'll need to connect the start gate here to the part on the box that says uh, start gates. So plug the cable from the start gate on the box to the, the, um, the first gate right here. I'm also gonna plug the power into the box right now. And so I took the battery, plugged it into the box, and then the box, of course, turns on right there. And now you need to start lining up the, the gates. To do that, look at the window back there, and make you'll see that there's a red light on if it's not lined up. And make sure it's lined up. So put it down and turn it um, left and right just till the light goes off. And then I always like to make sure you put your hand in front of it, make sure the light's actually turning back on. And again, this is a start gate plugged into the start side of the box right here. Now we're gonna plug in the rest of the gates. That's gonna go from the timing gates. For the reactive agility test now, we need to um, plug this into the Y connector. So I've got this going to the Y connector then I'm going to take the Y connector to the first, um, the reactive right gate. We'll plug that in right there. And while I'm going down the line right here, I'm just going to get them lined up as I'm going here. So I'm going to get this lined up with the reflector. Okay, that's lined up. I'll put my hand in front of it. That's all good. Now I'm going to connect the gate number one to the finish gate. I'm going to line it up, get this little bit better line right there. Lights off, my hand in front of it, make sure the light turns off. And then I'm going to take the other gate, the left gate, and connect that back into the other side of the Y connector. Connecting it in this format right here, make sure that the athlete doesn't have to run over anything. I'm plugging this back in right now to the, to the left gate here. I'm going to make sure it's lined up which it is, and now we're ready to start the test. So I'm gonna hit the reset button here. One thing to note is to make sure that the six circles right here are not filled in. You'll see if you block a gate then, or the gate's not lined up, the circle will be filled in. That means that it's blocked. So now for the applications where you're going to be doing a static reaction, you'll have the coach press the button here, which will turn the light on. It'll also start the timer. Pressing the button, the light turns on. That's telling the athlete he needs to run. So I'm gonna go through here right now. And now one of these two lights are randomly gonna go off. Typical test, you're gonna run through here, and then you're gonna run through the, the finish. The timer measured the split between when the light turns on and the athlete started to run, and then it measures from the other split when they actually cross the, the reaction gate, and then the finish time. 
Another fun thing that you can do with this here is that if you hit the reset button, we're starting it again. And I'm just going to show the athlete running through here. Now, one of these two lights are randomly going to go off. This one went off again. If you go through that and now come back here, um, you can do this as many times as you want. And then, so this is just going to be random right here. And um, you can go up to 99 splits right here. And again, you don't know which one's going to be which here. This seems to be alternating. All right, this one probably went this way right here. And then when you finally run through here, the time is going to stop. So with this, you'll have up to 99 splits on here. So you can do that as many times as you want, or up to 99 and keep track of the time. It'll keep going, though, if you wanted to do it for as long as you want. And anytime you want to start a test, hit the reset button, and it's ready to go again. If anyone has any questions, uh, please uh, contact us at zybexports.com.